Puffy eyes are common and we find out when fluid builds up in the thin layers of the tissue surrounding your eyes, causing your eyes and eyelids to swell, making them puffy. But how to get rid of puffy eyes is the biggest question and in today's video I'll be going over five easy steps that you could do to get rid of puffy eyes. You want to stay tuned until the end as I'll also be revealing a bonus tip that could be a game changer for getting rid of puffy eyes so definitely watch till the end. Hi guys, you've seen Arcelon Media Pharmacist here on YouTube. This channel is all about helping you make more informed decisions about your health and wellness. And if that's something you're into, take two seconds now to give this video a like to support my channel and subscribe down below to not miss out on future videos. It seriously makes my day and I love having you all here. So without further ado, before we get into the five steps, let's start off with what are puffy eyes exactly and secondly, how do they form? Now, puffy eyes are different from swollen eyelids. Swollen eyelids are typically caused by allergies, infection, inflammation, or trauma. And puffy eyes is usually related to lack of sleep, age-related sagging of the tissue, and general water retention. So it's important to make that differentiation. What causes our eyes to become puffy in the first place? There are two major causes. The first is an excessive accumulation of fluids or edema in the surrounding skin tissue. Because the skin around the eyes is very thin, any swelling and discoloration in this area look a lot more prominent than in other areas of the body. So what exactly causes the fluid buildup? The first place to look is what you ate prior. Foods high in sodium and MSG, carbohydrates and alcohol are the main culprits of eye puffiness. When we eat foods with high sodium and MSG, your body wants to hold on to that water as much as it can to maintain the balance. This lets your kidneys process the excess sodium and can lead to puffiness. And more than 70% of sodium found in American diets comes from processed and restaurant foods. So if you're one to eat out more often, you could be seeing more eye puffiness. Same thing goes for carbohydrates. When we eat carbs, the energy that we do not use right away is stored as glycogen molecules and for each gram of glycogen comes with three grams of water and as far as alcohol it causes puffiness in another way because it causes dehydration and when you're dehydrated skin and vital organs hold on to as much water as possible leading to swelling in the face and body so foods are the first reason the second is because of puffiness in the morning and what do i mean you see Think of blinking for eyelids the same like walking is for your legs. When you don't walk and are idle, your feet will swell and some people develop swelling in their lower extremities that goes away as soon as they start walking and the muscles in the legs begin milking the trapped fluids which then get absorbed back into circulation. Your eyelids have a similar action. When they are closed at night for all that time, non-blinking eyelids during sleep potentially can swell in certain people who are more prone to this problem. So in the mornings, you can wake up with puffy eyes and as soon as you start blinking, some of the puffiness gradually goes away. But to hopefully speed this process up and tackle eye puffiness, let's take a look at step one. Also guys, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like down below. Now let's get back to the video. For simplicity guys, these steps should be done first thing in the morning when you wake up. So for the first, use a cold spoon. Leave two clean teaspoons in your freezer, wet them with water, and then simply press them against your eyes for three minutes. This will help constrict the vessels and reduce the puffiness. Step two, use a deep puffer eye gel that has caffeine. If you don't have one, I've left a link down below for one that I recommend, so definitely check that one out below. You wanna use this right after your cold spoon technique. Eye gels with active ingredients like caffeine, licorice, and other antioxidants are the best out there, especially if they are cooled before you apply them. The caffeine can help narrow blood vessels and calm the skin and may also help with dark circles as well. Then comes step three. After your cold spoon and your eye gel, drink a tall glass of water on an empty stomach. Drinking water first thing in the morning flushes out the stomach and therefore balances the lymphatic system. And you see when lymph circulation is impaired, 
cellular waste builds up in and around the eyes, which can cause swelling, puffiness, and even bags. So it's important to make sure that you are adequately hydrated. I recommend drinking three cups in the morning right away to start hydrating early on. After that, we come to step four, talking about the lymphatic system, use a gentle roller to improve lymphatic drainage. The link for one that I recommend is actually by First Aid Beauty, which has that metal ball roller, which is great. So you could check that out below this video as well. And it's pretty easy to use. You turn it over, you shake it well, and gently roll the tip from the inner to the outer corners of the under eye two to three times a day and apply it after you've had three cups of water. The one pro tip here is to make sure you're not pressing hard or firm. Be gentle when you're using it. I also like it because it contains peptides that can help smoothen out the skin in that area as well. And lastly, step five, set yourself up for a good night's sleep early on in the day. Both quantity and quality of sleep is important. When you don't get enough sleep, the blood vessels around your eyes may dilate, meaning they get wider. And the more wider they get, the more they will leak fluid, which can build up under the skin, causing your eyes to puff up. And some of my best tips are to stick to a sleep schedule that makes sense for you, stop drinking caffeine at least six hours before bedtime, and finish eating dinner about three hours before bedtime. This will ensure that you set yourself up for quality of sleep as well. And now for that bonus tip, since you guys made it this far into the video, and that is to do gentle double taps. And no, I don't mean tapping the like button down below, which hopefully you guys have already done. It's about the concept that when you start rubbing cream or moisturizer under the eye, this can cause it to be puffy. Instead, try lightly tapping the area of your eyes and massaging the pressure points to encourage lymphatic drainage. Gentle tapping motion with your ring finger can go a long way instead of rubbing vigorously, which can make the problem worse. So basically your fingertips should be gliding across the bone just under the eye as soft as a feathery touch. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'd love to hear them. Also, please like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe not to miss out on future videos and turn that bell on so I could see you on the next one.